Once again, hi everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Samsung Freeform from Metro PCS. Um, this is the box that it comes in. Usually, all the specs and all the stuff that it has. In the box, you get a CD. It says Samsung New PC Studio. You also get the user manual and all the other Metro stuff that it comes with. In here, you get the USB cable and the charger adapter that you can also connect your USB to to charge the phone or you can charge it on the computer alright now to the phone I have this case this case I um my mom bought it on eBay because this is my mom's phone but yeah she bought it on eBay pretty cheap um this is a picture of me don't ask why she has a picture of me I guess she just loves me but okay let's start off with menu First in menu you have your calls, then you have contacts, calendar, at metro, metro web, messages, multimedia, tools, and settings. Your contacts, you can hold up to a thousand. You have speed dial and everything. You have your calendar. Then you have your at metro which is a normal metro apps. This you can use I am and email on this as long as you have the plan for it. You have the Metro Web, which also looks normal. It's not HTML. The Metro Web is okay, and the screen is good for it. You can use Facebook and everything, MySpace. But you cannot watch YouTube videos either. Next in the menu, you have your messages. This is a pretty good QWERTY keyboard. It's actually really nice. And the keys are a little bit separated. They're a little bit small, but they're not um, like really, really small, so they're good. And you have the space bar there and everything. You have a shortcut for your calendar, your messages, and that's about it. The messages you can send a message. If you choose to send a message, you can type something. Let me try the quick brown fox one. Sorry if you can't see that. And text like this. So I'm not really used to texting on this phone because I I'm a guy that used to my phone. So there you go. So after that you have oops. I think somebody just called her. But anyways, after that you have your multimedia, which you have camera, my images, music player and ringtones. There is no video camera, just a regular camera. Here's the regular camera. I'll take a picture of my screen. I think this camera is okay. For a 1.3 megapixel, it's okay. And you have all your regular options. Your single shots and mosaic shots and all the fun frames that you get. You have the image size. The um, night mode, on or off. You have your timer. Your quality, your image quality. Um, the different types of things you can set it to your colors and then you have memory, auto save, icon display, shutter sound and reset settings. You go to your images. You have all the different images here. The thing I don't like about this one is when you go to your images, whenever you try to go like to a different section of images, it always says loading, loading. And that's what I don't like cuz it takes so long to go to to go through images. Um, then you also have your little carousel wheel here with all the um, at Metro applications. So let's see what else. You then have your tools. You have Bluetooth, you have your voice SVC, your memo pad, your alarm clock, your roll time, your calculator, your stopwatch, and your converter. Oh, and your tilt calculator too. 
then you have your settings, location setting, display settings, sound settings, call settings, phone settings, memory info, phone info, and that's about it. Display settings is not really as customizable as the LG imprint that I have because the theme, you have Samsung and Celestial. You can't change the font. You can only change the font size. Um, you can change your banner. Whoops. It's hard to um, know what I'm doing when I'm looking through the camera. But yeah, you can turn the shortcuts on or off. I like them off because, I don't know, they just bother me. But also you can change your wallpaper, info panel on or off, your clock format. Well, you can't really change much. You have your sound settings, or everything else, your memory settings. For the memory, this one has 39. It actually has more than the LG imprint. Not a lot more, but more. So if you go to memory, full memory. Whoops, not something. See, this one has only 23 MB, and this one has 39.92. Oh, actually, no, it has more, because it's the total used and the available, so it has around, uh, I, I would say, 45. Oh, my bad, 55. Yeah, 55, way more than this, so I guess that really sucks, but I still think that this is a good phone. So, this has been a review on the... Oh, wait, I forgot to do the ports. I'm so sorry. I wasn't thinking. Um, on the front, you have the screen. Then you have your... Wow, my hair's messed up. Because my braids, I have cornrows, and they're messed up. I'm going to have to take them out. But, yeah. You have your regular here, your D-pad, your speaker key, your bag key, send, and... And then you have the QWERTY keyboard. You can see that. Then on the side here, you have your volume rocker, your lanyard spot, over here you have the headset jack which holds 3.5 millimeters so that's good because it's a normal one you have where is it oh your microphone is down here over here you have the shortcut camera button and here you have the the charger port for charging and USB transferring let me show you which one it is if I can open it it's the small Samsung one And here's your speaker and your camera. As for size comparison, with the LG imprint, when it's closed, the LG imprint is definitely more wider, but it's like shorter. And when it's open, it's longer. But yeah, now I can say that this has been a review on the Samsung Freeform from Metro PCS. I think you can get it for $79 or $89, not sure. But overall, I actually think this is a good phone, especially for texting. So if you're looking for a basic phone that's good for texting, you can get this phone. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.